Well, it's December 4th, and we've been working on these boxes, got them painted. Now we're going to work on getting these pallets ready. Um, <clears throat> my plan is to get these pallets ready and switch out the hives that are going to California on these clean pallets. The story behind these pallets is last summer, a friend of mine uh, found out about some used pallets that were for sale for a really good price. So they went down to the Panhandle Florida and got them. And uh, they look kind of dirty from the top. I'm about to pressure wash them. Uh, but from the bottom, let me show you how the bottoms look. They look pretty good. See, so they look like they're in pretty good shape. And we already have cleaned up and put bees on 10 of these pallets. Um, but I'm gonna switch them over to these before they go to California because we want, we want the pallets to be good and clean when we put them on the truck to go. So, let me show you how these things work real quick. I have had some people asking me about them. Um, let me run and grab a box and I'll show you what, how they work. If you look right here, you'll see um, down here on the box, my hands all paint, paint, covered in paint. There's little brackets. And then if you can look at the bottom board, you can see at the plywood here on the pallet, it's the exact dimensions for a 10 frame deep to fit on here with the opening right here. So what you do is just take the box and you put it around that bracket right there. See how the bracket holds it in place? And then right here is where the bees go in and out. It's the uh, entrance. And there's room for four of these on here. So you put another one there and each of those slots over there. And then on these pallets, there's a little opening right here in the bottom, in the back on each one of them. And I believe that's probably to allow uh, for water to drain so they don't fill up with water. And they seem to work really well. So let me get them cleaned up here and I'll show you what they look like when we're done. Alright, it turned into a beautiful day. Just a few minutes ago it was cloudy and kind of windy and a little chilly and now the sun has come out. Beautiful day for January 4th. Let's see if I can get this thing cranked up. This uh, pressure washer has already come in handy. I bought it, I think around just right after Thanksgiving and used it to clean out those frames on that other video. Now we're going to try and use it for these pallets. I'll do it one handed here. Where that wood is, they're really in good shape. Gotta get them good and clean. So, you can see how they're going to clean up nice. Um, so let me work on this a while, get these things cleaned up, and then we'll follow up and close out the video. Just thought you might be interested in this. Once again, you can see a little better here now. It's cleaned up some, and I'll clean it up better than this. But you can see here how this right here, 
once again is the size of a 10 frame box and of course you can make them any size you want they basically cut out a couple pieces of plywood it's the right size for two of these and they just tack some boards on there with the clip here and then the bottom board there's four bottom boards per pallet and on the bottom what they've done I'll show you here just have three two by fours the right length for a base a foundation and then two boards across to hold everything together i guess and to provide support so that's basically what they look like and i'll probably show you the bottom one a little closer uh, at the end of the video i'm gonna get on this get them cleaned up and then we'll see what we end up with Been working on this a while I think we finally got them done as you can see um, they're much cleaner the wood is in pretty good shape um, there were some dark spots on the wood and I think it's from where they previous people treated the bees with some different things here's how this box sits on here I wanted to show you one more time the entrance is right here you can see the brackets inside and it sits right on that pallet right there perfectly when you put the boxes on here you kind of have to see right there it goes down in that slot right there you kind of have to well do it one kind of press down a little bit and then it's in place there's room right there for another one and then two on that side works well so here they are, I kind of buggered up some of the wood a little bit with the pressure washer right here. And I, there were some little areas of propolis buildup that the pressure washer did get up. But you can see where I had really had to work hard to get it up. And once again, it kind of buggered up or messed up the wood a little bit. So as I went on later in the process, I just got a hive tool out and, and scraped those off as we went along. So here they are, these 10 pallets, that's enough for 40 hives um, as we go along. I already have 10 out with bees on them. If you've watched my bees on pallets video, you'll know that I'm trying to get some bees ready to go to California like I mentioned earlier. But I do want to switch uh, those bees onto some of these cleaner pallets before we send them out. Uh, just to make sure we have them on clean pallets going out to California uh, so we don't have any problems. Here's what the bottoms look like. Got this one flipped upside down. So you see the three two by fours. This is the piece of plywood right here that's the right size for two boxes on top. Three two by fours and these cross bars, or these cross, uh, three two by fours and these cross beams here to help hold it in place. Um, there was some dirt collected under on the bottom side up under here. So I had to lift it up and pressure wash and get all the dirt cleaned off of there as well. So I did the top and the bottom of the pallets. So there we go, 10 pallets cleaned up, ready to go. Uh, and so we'll hopefully get bees on all my pallets this year. That'll give me 80 hives on pallets if I do that. Um, and maybe we'll need some more, who knows. Have no idea what this year holds. Kind of excited about it. Just again, we got these boxes painted in here today. Put together the last uh, couple, few days and then painted today. Finished up painting them today. And uh, Got these pallets cleaned up and ready to go. I have some more, uh, some mediums ordered, some medium boxes ordered. And I have a few more deeps I got to put together as well, but um, it's about to be on with bee season here in South Alabama. Just thought I'd show you what I was doing, share it with you, kind of what I'm doing to help prepare for the season uh, coming up. And uh, the bees themselves, for the most part, are looking pretty good. So it's going to be exciting to see what happens. Um, it's always an adventure with bees. A lot of fun, a lot of work as well. All right, I'd appreciate if you subscribe to my channel and hit the thumbs up and, and even hit that notification bell if you want to watch future videos from me. I'm going to sign off for now from here in South Alabama. Thanks for watching Bruce's Bees. On to the next video.